Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And if you want answers to a lot of questions they set up in The Force Awakens in The Last Jedi, you gotta buy the book. That's how... We, we joked that's what they were gonna do. Oh my god, this is so irritating. This is like a huge difference between Lucasfilm, Lucasfilm, and Disney Lucasfilm. Is that they're basically making it mandatory to buy the books to fill in the blanks. They've always had the books before to expand on backstory, mm -hmm. but they actually raise questions in the movies and then they never freaking answer them mm -hmm. unless you buy the books or the comic books. That's right, because then they get double dip. And this time it's over uh, how uh, they got Luke's lightsaber to Maz and then to Rey, because now it's Rey's lightsaber, even though it was yeah. Anakin's and then Luke's. Yeah, no, it's, well, she's a Skywalker now, so they can just call it the Skywalker lightsaber. Spoiler. Yeah, that's, what, that's probably what you're probably right. That's probably what they'll do. Spoiler. Spoiler. Um, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this. This is a very Disney thing to do. And then we're going to talk about some other instances where you have to buy the book to understand what the hell is going on. And then we're talking about this Project Luminous that's coming up. That's some big comic book book crossover. Again, they want you to buy the books because now they're not going to be doing movies for a couple of years. And they got to make money off this mm -hmm. thing somehow. By the books. By the books, right? Because they already soured everyone on the movies. So. Right, right. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. God. Uh, before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We're closing in on 100,000. We keep saying that. 100,000. We're, well, we're at like 92 now. We're pretty close. Are right? we? Yeah. Yay. Yay. Go us. Uh, you don't have to buy the book for that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, we're at almost 100,000. Thanks for the support, guys. We've blown up over the last six months. It's been great. We really appreciate it. And we're going to talk about this. Marvel's Star Wars comics finally offering comics, finally offering the explanation you should have gotten in the mm -hmm. movie of how Luke's lightsaber returned after Bespin. That's a damn good question. It is a good question. When I wrote it, I was thinking that's a damn good question. So answer this because question for this me. Because this article is actually coming from piratesandprincesses.net, which is yes. my Disney blog. Yes, it is. Um, so, yes. The question everybody wanted to know was, you know, how did Maz get the lightsaber? And Han says, you know, um, he made something like, where did, where did you get that? And she's like, well, it's a good question for another time. When we, when we figure it out, we'll let yeah. you know. Yeah, and then we're not going to even address it. And then we <laughs> no. get The Last Jedi, and all these questions that up in The Force Awakens end up either being completely resolved in a really shitty way or completely ignored. And then you have Rise of Skywalker where they have to undo Last Jedi to answer questions from Force Awakens, you know, so you know the drill. Yeah. So basically, what happened was, um, there's different theories about this. They said in the comics now, uh, Luke loses his hand and then somebody below catches it and says, follow your destiny. So now there's like all these what? questions about who this person is. Is it a force ghost like Obi-Wan or Qui-Gon? Is it like, you know, a Soka Tano or something like that? Or I, the other theory that they were trying to, to, to say that CBR was saying about was maybe it's Luke with two U's. I'm um, like, it can't oh, be. No. Uh, for those who don't know what Luke with two U's is, is Luke in the Thrawn trilogy, um, supposedly they made a clone from his hand, and that was a clone of him called Luke with two U's. Yeah. Um, which Disney. Luke. Yeah. Disney uh, undid that. And if you go by the books, it wouldn't be possible anyway, because his hand from Bespin is what they cloned him from. So, um, I believe. So that wouldn't work, except for the fact that Disney is now cherry picking things from the expanded universe and changing it yeah this is irritating they burned the eu down because they wanted a clean slate and now they're going back in their their you know we've already seen them do it with thrawn we've seen them do it with some other uh stuff they're they're talking about possibly bringing mara jade back at some point um this is kind of bullshit yeah this so, really is so now uh in the original expanded universe like they found it when they were doing cleanup and stuff well now uh somebody caught it and somehow it ended up from this person to maz later on um this is in the new star wars comics by marvel so this is gonna be issue i guess issue three is gonna ex explain further that is the most ridiculous explanation mm -hmm. like when i was a kid I, it's a non-explanation so far it's a non but yeah but i'm just like look when I was a kid, I never thought, look, his hand fell down the bottomless pit. It's got it's flushed with the garbage. I thought it was even a stretch with the Thrawn trilogy that somebody found mm -hmm. the lightsaber. Yeah. You know, it was kind of a stretch. Um, now, the original opening, I guess, for The Force Awakens, they they were actually going to start it with Luke's severed hand yeah, floating through space. 
that would have been a hundred times worse, but this is almost as bad. Well, you can see from around him, it looks like he's down the 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 chamber in in you know Cloud City. So him or him or her, so what they do, reach out with the force and catch it while it was falling down. I, that doesn't even. I mean, I even showed in the picture. Go up to the featured image. You even see that his hands hold a lightsaber when it flies off. Well, I guess maybe after your hand is severed and falls down Bombo's pit, the muscles relax. Um, I don't know. But yeah, they had the original opening for The Force Awakens. It was supposed to be like Luke's severed hand. Uh, it was supposed to be re-entry and it was going to like burn the flesh off of his hand. And then you were going to see the skeleton holding a lightsaber. I'm like, that's freaking stupid. And beyond that, I'm like, you know, do they have a story explaining what happened to Anakin's severed arm when Dooku cut his arm off? They just kind of leave it there. Well, that's because it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Stuff wasn't passed down to Rey, who is now the chosen one for no reason. I mean, and how creepy is that? Your whole if that had been the entry or the beginning of the, the crawl, yeah. and then she gets a lightsaber that had been had been decomposing stuff on it for years. Yeah. It's, but it's sanitized now because it went through, you know, re-entry. <laughs> well, there you go. I, I mean, I just kind of assume that, that severed appendages in Star Wars are like medical waste. <laughs> and uh, you know, they're not magical or special. Even even the Skywalker lightsaber, let's be honest, it's not like, it's not like Excalibur. Because this is actually Anakin's second or third lightsaber. He lost one <laughs> in Attack of the Clones. And this is another one. You know, so it's kind of like, but now it's got this mystical, magical thing right. going on. It's magical Mistopheles, the lightsaber. It's the Lady of the Lake uh, grabbing. There you uh, go. Oh my God. What if they go that route? What if it is like the Lady of the Lake? Like, no, from Excalibur, you know, oh. where she like brought this, like, this is. I, I don't know. But that's, a, those are some of the theories going on. Um, yeah, I just, do I think Disney would do it? Yeah, totally. Do I think Disney would go and pull the, the clone Luke out of the Thrawn trilogy? Yeah. Um, do I think that's probably going to be the answer here? No, likely not. I no. mean, that seems kind of, you know, pointless. But There's a lot of things in the comics that are pointless, and I really wish they would. I mean, there's some good stuff in the, Mar the current Marvel comics, but a lot of it's garbage. And they just... I think what... I think what gets me is that they keep making fans go buy these books and these comics and casual Star Wars fans are not going to buy the books and not buy the comics. If you can't give an explanation in the movie to most people, that's it, just it. They're not going it doesn't to exist. You know? I'm sorry. I have to laugh. Cause it's like those old 80 pictures with 80s pictures where you had your photo and then like your mom was in the corner looking at you. Oh, and then they're all sitting here like, you know, all ready to fight. It's like, come on, let's be honest. These are stormtroopers. They're not going to hit you anyway. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Just walk on by. It's not gonna. They're not gonna hit you. So, but anyway, I they're thought like it was funny. The buzzing of flies to me. I thought it was funny because Vader's face is up here, like it's like those old Daddy 80s Daddy loves picture. you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why right that. Daddy's love. Uh, what was that one song? A Daddy's Girl song is pretty creepy. Some country song. You I have no idea. There's a song. I think it was called Daddy's Girl, and it was. I think it was like I don't know, some country song, but it had really creepy overtones. Like I, no, I don't know that yeah, one. Yeah, sounds I don't a little really more, to country music. little more it's intimate. Not than, my preference. Uh, it's not mine either, but uh, my grandpa used to listen to a lot of country music. Yeah, so he did. I absorbed a lot of it. Anyway, uh, this is not the first time they pulled this bullshit. They keep doing it. They did it with the games. Mm -hmm. They're like, if you want to know where the First Order comes from, go play Battlefront. Mm -hmm. That will kind of, kind of sort of maybe explain it, but not quite. Uh, Palpatine. How did Palpatine return? Didn't answer it. But guess what? You got to buy a book. There's a book. There's a book out. That explains it all. That explains it all. Um, yeah, the Visual Dictionary explains how... They spent decades trying to bring back the Emperor while crafting the Final Orders. The Final Orders, huge fleet of Star Destroyers. You know, where'd they get the money for that? But you gotta buy the book. You know, again, it's never it's never in the movie well, where Well, they gave no be. explanation. It's like, hey, guess what? Emperor's still here. The dead speak. And it's like, what the hell like, happened? Yeah, like, we couldn't show this. I mean, the big... Actually... Wouldn't it been wouldn't it have been so much better to save the Emperor for the end of the movie and be like, surprise! The Emperor's back! Yeah, know, but like, no. whoa, plot twist. We didn't see that. Well, coming. they can't do that because they had to use the Emperor to get people interested to show their asses up in the first place. That is exactly it. They couldn't hide the Emperor. That would have been a hell of a reveal, though, and if they had a logical explanation for it. But no, this is Disney Star Wars. We don't have logical explanations for things. You have to buy the book. That's right. Buy the book. Buy the book. Speaking of books, what the hell is this? Project Luminous. 
Luminous beings are we. Yes. I, yeah. No. The dead I saw speak this. by the books. Yeah, can right? All the dead Jedi speak. Project Luminous could reveal the next big Star Wars movie. Yeah, I saw this. I was like, what? So now it's like a project with a bunch of, of comics and books that are going to tie into each other, if my understanding. Yeah, this sounds like kind of what they did back in the day with uh, Shadows of the Empire, where it was yeah. like a, a, a multi-platform thing. And there was some good that came out of that. We got Dash Rendar. Uh, we got a quasi-decent game. Uh, we got some cool action figures. You I know. remember the figures, yes. Yeah, figures were pretty cool. I remember being completely confused, though. When I went to a store, I'm like, who's Zizor? What's this guy? Yeah, see, I wasn't, because I read the book. Yeah, see, you <laughs> so. read the books. Uh, and Bausch Leia, she came on a, a Shadows of the Empire purple yep. card. They had the purple cards. They were kind of cool. They were pretty And cool, the actually. Luke Skywalker in the, uh, the Imperial Guard suit was actually pretty cool, too. Yeah, I remember reading the book. Yeah, so this sounds like they're going to do that. But they're not saying what this is, right? It's it's going to be multi-publisher thing. So we got uh, Lucasfilm, Press, Del Rey, IDW, and Marvel. Mm -hmm. So all hands well, on someone's deck. Someone's got to help IDW. Yeah. So they're, uh, does this mean Project Luminous is going to contextualize the Force as something more or less than an energy field created by all living things? It's about the Force. Wait. So they're going to what they're going to do? Turn around, and retcon the Force now? I think they're going to retcon the Force. Oh my God. I think they are. I really do. Uh, cause when they just stop when they're ahead? This is, how can we, you know what? How can we piss the fans off more? I know. Yeah. How can we piss them off even more? And it's like, well, um, so Luminous would involve having a connected multi-platform story set three to 400 years before the Skywalker saga, which sounds a lot like the time frame they're giving for whatever movies are coming out next. Yeah. Um, they were saying it was a few hundred years before. Yeah. That's about yeah. right. So the report also claims stories across different platforms will converge and culminate in the style of the Avengers movies. Oh, okay. That's what they said. They were going to try to do these movies. They'd be like one. Okay. So these are the stories they're doing, but they were saying the same thing with the movies. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy is making comments like, well, they don't all have to be trilogies. And the way they were speaking about the movies going forward were they were going to be like, so, like, like almost like a solo story, yeah. you know, or Rogue One where they were just the stories, but they were all going to be connected somehow and then come together in one way, like the Avengers. Yep. And that's exactly what we're getting. So you're getting the books this way first, and then they're going to do the movies like this as well. Yeah. So it says uh, they're going to have different super powerful Jedi having access to unique abilities this part would also explain the cryptic tease that Luminous will change what we know about the Force. Of course they will, because we can't leave well enough alone. Yep, we're going to retcon the we're Force. piss all over it and act like we did something. Uh, making Star Wars previously claim that this period, three to four hundred years before the original trilogy and the High Republic era are one and the same, um, makes it interesting. I'm like, no, you're going to turn Star Wars into superheroes. That's that, yeah, it doesn't, it's not going to work with Star Wars. It's just not, that's not what this is. It's not, whatever. It sounds like bullshit. God, why are you people... Do, do people keep doing this? But this also would lead into the whole idea that um, Kevin Feige said if he got out of his Marvel thing when he's done with that, he'd go take over Star Wars. Yeah, they're going to marvel Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's going to work. I don't I, think so either. I, I don't think it's going to work. I think they've already marvel fied it too much as it is with trying to do too many movies and trying to make it uh, all these freaking tie-ins. Um, and it's pretty sad because Star Wars... Finn knockoff. Well, I think, is or is that Finn? No, think, it's not Finn, because they showed, I don't think it is Finn. I have no idea. So it said, yeah, they're talking about the, the Days of the High Republic. They're already seeding it in. Days of the High Republic, the galaxy was not as settled as it is now. Areas like the Outer Rim were dangerous. So people that time built a huge space station at great effort and expense and placed it in the dark center of the dark zones or whatever. And it was like a lighthouse, a beacon, a luminous thing. It's a beacon. Oh, my God. It's a beacon. It's like the, the Avengers Tower or some shit. It, it just sounds like... But again, to know what's going on with these new movies, I... Uh, so now they're basically admitting they're going to retcon and rewrite the Force. Yes. But they just admitted this, guys. And if we you can't leave, We can't really ruin enough things. Now we're going to go ruin that. And if you want to know what's going on, you got to buy the books. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is they're going to tie all these books into this new movie project. Is this how Marvel is going to justify their existence? Well, they have to justify it somehow. Like, oh, we're going to, we're going to, hey guys, just wait. We're going to, uh, we're going to rewrite Star Wars. We're going to. But they're banking know. on people actually giving a shit and buying this stuff. And most people don't. I don't think anybody. If you can't watch it on the screen, they don't care. If you can't visit it in the parks, they don't care. Yeah. If you can't wear it from the store. 
they, they don't, don't care. care. They don't <laughs> I'm care. like, you can't make. It. It's just, I mean, the same. They have like, they have like stupid, you know, uh, Insta pots and stuff. But it's the classic Star Wars characters. They keep going back. People, what they're buying is a classic Star Wars characters. Yeah, and I mean, clearly they have to see that. I think they're trying to justify their existence. They're probably trying to justify the existence of the uh, story group if it still exists. Oh, it does, as far as I know. Uh, yeah, and it's just nobody gives a shit, you know. And look, you had, you had dedicated Star Wars fans who bought. All the EU stuff. I, I was one of those people. Yeah, she actually I did. exists in the, the EU. I am. I am in the EU. We've mentioned, that, mentioned it before. They named yeah. a character after me because I was such a, a fangirl dork. Um, but now you're dead. My character is, yes. Yeah, like a wall fell They made me a villain, <laughs> which I find Devil woman. You were a devil woman. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's... I don't know. I don't know. It's. I, I, I think this is bullshit. Again, I think most casuals, even most fans, I mean... There were people in the theater when we went to go see Solo. Yeah, we went to the theater to go see Solo. Uh, that were confused by Darth Maul coming back because they'd never watched Clone Wars or right. Rebels. So they had no idea what the hell was going they on. They only stick to the main movies. They don't watch the spinoff shows or any of that stuff. Right. And most of your audience is going to be that way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've already a lot of your audience that was the ones who would buy the Expanded Universe books and all that, like me, are so, you know, a lot of them are so pissed off, they're not going to buy any more either. Nope. So I, I just, I don't know. I don't think this is the smartest move you could do. I just don't. I think it's a dumb move, and uh, I think it's bullshit that they, they build up this big mystery. I mean, the, the lightsaber in the box, the mystery box, the lightsaber in the mystery box was a big deal in The Force Awakens, and it was yet another question that didn't have answers. That well, might have had answers, but then they uh, had to make up for The Last Jedi and didn't have time yeah. to answer it. So, so you got to buy the book. Go buy the book if and you speaking, care. Yeah, if you care. Speaking of Star Wars, though. Yeah. We are going to be at Galaxy's Edge soon. We are. We're going to be at Galaxy's Edge for a couple days next week, Sunday through Tuesday. Look for live streams. Look for live streams on Geeky's Pirates and Princesses Facebook page. Uh, and we'll go we'll around. put some and, here, too, on, on, on Clownfish. Clownfish. And hopefully, you know, the ride doesn't break down. I hope it doesn't. I mean, I hear it's pretty good if it, it, if it works. It'd be funny if it did, though. It it's would like, be funny. It's like, oh, it's the wrong group to have it break down. I know. <laughs> I uh, know. It really is. Not, not good. Uh, so, all right. We're going to wrap this one yep. up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.